352-369-9101. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! Five minutes after 9 o'clock, it's always eye-opening when Don Browning is in the studio. We already salute and thank Don Browning for his service as a U.S. Navy veteran. Uh, he's got so many credentials to his name. I don't want to take up any time because wait till you hear what he has to say. He's going to follow the money for you. Bring common sense your way. This is your opportunity to sit and listen to Don Browning running as a candidate for the Marion County Commission District 3 in the upcoming elections. Good morning, Don. How are well, you? Good morning. Uh, it is so nice to be with you. And and uh, I am I am just about overwhelmed. You, everybody sees the signs out there for the county commission. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, campaign and so today what I'd like to do is just go from this weekend and say and for the listeners and you all uh, and and please just just pop right in uh, what would you do if you were the county commissioner and some of these things were taking place like for example uh, the we just put FedEx in and guess who county commission was not even interviewed he wasn't even looked for the vision for the future the county commission is sort of on a sideline and this new chamber of commerce it's called the the seep the cep has pretty much taken over uh and it's if you follow the money this is a little bit hard to to buzz through all mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. At, at one time but if you follow the money uh the cep just in, introduced and and championed a sales tax increase now why is that important well we had an advantage on all of the folks to the south of us, 100,000 people with $100,000 disposable income, an enormous marketing advantage we had. And it's only a penny. Well, that penny is 16%. If you go from six cents to seven cents, trust me, that difference is 16%. So they come here because we have a lower tax. Yes. And adding that penny will keep them home. Adding that penny will make everything neutral. There's no reason to make the trip up here to Ocala. Uh-huh. It is so incredible from a marketing, and I have a degree in marketing. Uh, it, it is so incredible, that advantage, because you can put it in your ads. You can say, you are going to buy that $3,000 uh, 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 bedroom suite, let's say. Uh, suddenly, that $3,000, you were going to save $30 for the trip. Thirty dollars is the difference right, on, right, 30, right. on on a three thousand dollar item. Are you going to buy a generator? Well, come on across the border into Marion County. Hey, we're here and we're ready for business. It is such a beautiful marketing coup. All right, so we're going to. That was that was run not by the county commission, uh, championed and, and promoted. It was done by this chamber CEP. So what I'm going to do is is buzz through. The supervisor of elections, uh, we've got a movement from the South that is trying to really essentially buy in. And I think you might agree. Uh, these, these, I've got, I just printed these out right off the supervisor of elections. Okay, site. okay. And anybody can go to it. It's votemarion.com. <laughs> right, right, right. All right. Yeah, so, we use that all the time, that site. Do you? It's a, They are wonderful. They, yes. they give us the information we need. Wesley has really nailed it with that one, and, and I am so grateful because it, it's uh, it's almost overwhelming, so much data. But let's just look. I'm, I'm looking at, a, at a, uh, a race in the 5th District. Here comes the money. This is just a list of the contributions. CEP, this is, uh, let's see, on 27th Avenue, $1,000. Whoops, another $1,000. Hello, folks. A thousand dollars. Doug Cohn. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Every. It, it's just incredible. All of this money that's flowing in, and it's so expensive to operate. Thousand dollars. Now we go into. This is the insidious part. This is incredible. Sumter County is buying 
into ours. Sumter County owns the Sumter County Commission, five to nothing, out of the villages. They, they, have, they have all of the commission seats. All right, look at this. Um, Wildwood, Florida, $1,000. I won't mention the names. You can go online and look at the names the, of the people. Wildwood, $1,000. Wildwood, a thousand dollars. Wildwood, a thousand dollars. Wildwood, a thousand dollars. That is coming in, and this for is our what, county commission. For our county commission, wow. see, I say, folks, stay in Sumter County when you're trying to to influence a, a, a race. Uh, uh, let's see, that's a political committee out of Tampa. No big deal. No big deal. Um, let's go to another one. Let's go to another one. Um, Heck, this is a this is the guy. Uh, this is the the guy. Uh, Avilio Severus, uh, section uh, uh, District Three. That's the one I'm in. Uh -huh. He dropped out, and, right? But he had the whole front page of this weekend's printout. That's why it's Jermaine. A thousand dollars, right out of Wildwood. A thousand dollars. This is a second seat. Now get this. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Now, what the heck is going wow, on? Wow! All from Isn't something that incredible. Country. Now, who knew that, and who is following it? Now, let's uh, let's flip over here. Here we go. The CEP is sort of the point man here. Mm -hmm. It's called Creep. Now, why would they be? Here's another one. It's called Creep. Uh, look at this. <laughs> creep. Or uh, yeah, what is it? Uh, <laughs> I seep, don't know. Seep, yeah. seep, seep, and seep. creep. <laughs> it, it sort of seeps in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, it's a little creepy. Uh -huh. All right thousand dollars right out of Doug Cohn that's that's the the starter that was the person that kicked it off here we go thousand dollars a thousand dollars a thousand dollars all from 27th Avenue 527 and, and that's how much money they're giving each candidate there well yeah that one we'll go to the let's, let's did they give just, you any oh no way now <laughs> that's the beauty that's the beauty I will not accept oh. and here's the integrity we have a conflict of interest statute uh, for the county commission. I will not take money from someone like, for instance, a union or from the CEP. Every month they have to approve a payment to these people. Well, if I have to approve a payment and I have to make that judgment, how can I take $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000? Mm -hmm. How can I take that? I cannot be impartial. Being a county commissioner, you're really like a, a judge in a civil trial, say a, a civil action, and you must stay unbiased. You cannot, a judge cannot take from one of the parties that he knows he's going to be working with. You just can't take money from those people. Now, if you take money, if, it's a, if, if you want to give them $100, if somebody wants to give $100, that's beautiful, that's wonderful, that's just participation. But the maximum running right down the line, that is, it, it's incredible the size of these these uh, wow. campaigns it's it's unbelievable and, and, and they benefit from it by by how? now they you know, look they you get, take a thousand dollars from somebody if somebody comes in here right, and suddenly is dropping a thousand a thousand a thousand a thousand right. you come in hey hello and there, what do Doug. they want like if, if if one of those thousand dollar recipients gets elected what do they want from that recipient uh they want I would say they want favor uh, like for instance mm -hmm. right now there are three seats that have sent payment a million dollars in the last four years a million dollars to this chamber a wow. million dollars well they want to continue that so they've got four they've got three seats there are three seats coming forward and they only need one of those seats to replace the seat that uh, Stan McLean is leaving so if they can get one of three they still have their majority and this will continue on if they and if, it, if it's Sumter that gets it, now we're talking issues like water, like hospitals, like everything that you could possibly want coming out of Lake and Sumter. Uh, uh, regional control. If you control Marion County Board of County Commissioners, right, right, Sumter right. County Board of County Commissioners, Lake County Board of County Commissioners, what in the world's left to control? Wow. That's your le legislative delegation. That's, that's your comp plans. That's everything. The wow. the information you give us is is so eye opening and uh, my goodness and today you gave us two I mean two in just the, the last fourteen minutes or so 
Not even 14 minutes. I don't know how long it's been. Here's one more. Look at this. $1,000. This is in my race. $1,000. $1,000. $1,000. Wow. Here we go. Wildwood. Wildwood. 1,000. Wildwood. 1,000. Wildwood. 1,000. Wildwood. 1,000. Wildwood. 1,000. Wildwood. 1,000. Wow. Sorry to be so redundant. Wow. This is absolutely treacherous. And people, Wildwood. 1,000. Wildwood. 1,000. Wildwood. This is the same guy. Wildwood. 1,000. He jumped in. He's in my race. Wow. I wouldn't take the money. Here's... Uh, David Elsperman, he's in charge. He, he got, you know, uh, CEP a thousand. Here we go, Gosh. a thousand, a thousand. There's Wildwood, Brooksville. Um, here's another one. Um, Earl Arnett. Oh, Earl Arnett. These are <laughs> people who 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 received two hundred and fifty thousand dollars from the Whoa. CEP program. Put in oh, twenty five, yeah. twenty or twenty five. Take out two hundred fifty. Thousand dollars. Whoops. Thousand dollars. That first one's two fifty. Sorry. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. You think maybe they're very appreciative of the fact that they got two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for the last two years running, and they'd like to see this happen again. Wow. Uh, it's incredible. It's incredible. Wow. Here we wow. go. Wildwood. Another commissioner, sitting commissioner. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Here's another one. The villages. Thousand dollars, thousand dollars, thousand dollars, thousand dollars. Lady Lake, a thousand dollars, thousand dollars. How about that, folks? And and this is what Don Browning will address when I get on the commission. This it's that simple. Wow. It's just follow the money. Uh, you 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 really do a good job getting the word out about your your positions. Um, we're out of time. Give us a way that we can learn about you. I would encourage the listeners if you appreciate what Don is saying, uh, get the video that we make of him every Monday and and share it with anybody you think would pay attention to it. Uh, it's on Facebook and on YouTube. And real quickly, Don vote vote Don Browning. Dot com. Vote DonBrowning.com. Uh, thank you, Don. You're welcome. Uh, very eye-opening. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accidents. Clouds will limit sunshine on this Monday. There'll be some showers and a thunderstorm around, especially during the afternoon.